Today at Crack and Corals, we're going to be taking a look at this, the new semi-spectrum. Let's take a look inside the box. First of all, it's a very nice, strong case. Inside, you can see we've got the uh, Senai Spectra uh, USB dongle with the software on, and then the Spectra itself. Very similar in size and shape to uh, any other Senai device that you may have. It comes with a two meter USB cable, and I'm told you can get it with a five meter cable, or you can use an USB extension up to five meters. Uh, the Spectra itself is quite weighty. The only thing that's missing, I think, from this set is uh, like an, an extendable telescopic arm that will hold on to the Spectra so you can dip it in your water in your tank and analyze your lighting whilst operating your laptop. Let's go ahead and install the Senai software. I've mounted the Spectra onto a uh, DD aqua scraper which I've put a bit of a bend in and some uh, cable ties. I'm told that uh, Senai are going to be bringing out a holder for this to make things a little bit easier. Um, it's not available yet and we are in the middle of a pandemic so it's going to be a little while before that comes out. Uh, so this will do the job for now, let's see how it goes. To give you a demo of what's going on, I've got the uh, laptop here, I've got my AI app here, and the tank here, which you can currently is in the dark, all the lights are off. The uh, Senai Spectra is on the sand bed there. So if we crank up some of the lights, oh, got wet hands, which doesn't help. There we go. So the blues are on, you can see the blues are on here. And they give the spectra just a moment to catch us up. You can see a nice blue spectrum graph which uh, reflects our app. Pop the red on for a demo. You can see the red pop up there on the spectra's graph. Again, we'll clunk up the green. You just saw it zip up there. And if we put the UV and the violet on, you can see straight away that that's indicated there on the graph and the spectra. And if we push the whites right up, you can see the, oh, just give it a moment to catch up with us there, a bit of a change. You can see the whole graph there lift up as the whites lift up the details. And our normal spectrum. It's pretty much the light schedule we run all day. It's fairly heavy blue, just a tweak of white, a little bit of red. You can see here on the spectrum that we're running all the blues, the violets, the UV with just a hint of red. Uh, we're down at the bottom in the tank. We've got a par of about 242, 244 at the bottom with a pair of 90. And you can see this says it's ideal conditions for a stylophora. Now you can select different species of coral from the list on here and uh, let's have a look what else something different uh, let's say pavona 
You can see here that it also says it's ideal for a Pavona at that particular point in the tank. Or if we choose something that we know is going to be a little bit more light requiring. Uh, just general Aquapora species. It's not as perfect for them at that low level. They would prefer to be a little higher up in the tank. There's plenty of different corals you can choose from from this list and I expect that list will get updated as more people use the spectra and analyze what works well, where in the tank stuff grows well and feeds that back to Senai. They can update everybody with that so we can all see what's gonna be good for our tank. You can see from our quick demo just how useful the spectra is on your reef tank. You get a full overview of what you like to put in out, how much blue, how much white, how much red, and what coral requirements are, and where the best positioned in the tank. The more, uh, some corals prefer to be higher up, a little bit more light, and the spectra shows you this. It's a really good overall thing to, to have for your reef tank. Unfortunately, it comes at a price tag. You're talking nearly 800 pounds for one of these. It's something we're gonna look at uh, in terms of renting it out from the shop. It's a little bit difficult with it being such a high price tag. It means there'll be a large uh, deposit and a monthly fee or a, a weekly rental. Alternatively, it may be that we come out with the unit to our local area and measure the customer's tank for them. Something we'll have to look at in the future because it really is a handy piece of kit for people just to make sure that they're doing the best for their corals. <laughs>